Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today I would like to talk about the C9 Diet Cleanse Plan by Forever Living. Does it work for weight loss? Does it help you lose fat? Does it get results? All these questions I get. So I'd like to go over this today and help you choose whether it's right for you. So first of all, what is the C9 diet plan? It doesn't really tell you much from the name, does it? So it's basically a step-by-step -step process to help you lose weight in nine days. And basically you buy a pack, it's about hundred pounds in the UK. And in that pack includes a few things, including some diet shakes, some supplements, and some other information about how to follow the plan. So it's, like I said, it's a pack you buy and you receive it in the, in the post and you just follow it for those nine days. And in addition to the pack that you get, they also advise you to eat some fruits and vegetables on the side to make sure you're getting enough nutrients into your day as well. So just before I go on, have you tried the C9 diet plan? Let me know in the comments below, or are you thinking about trying it? Let me know down there below. So first of all, why is the C9 diet plan appealing? So first of all, it advertises fast weight loss, which of course, everyone wants, right? I'll go on to that a bit more later on in the video about weight loss versus fat loss, but that's the first reason, right? Fast weight loss. Second is it's appealing because it's step-by-step -step process. And so it takes out the thinking, obviously, diets are very, very taxing on the brain. So it gives you a way, just follow this step-by-step, -step, do what we tell you and you will lose the weight. So it's very appealing because of that as well. And also people do get results because you can show weight loss with their plan. But I will go on to explain why that's not a good thing in the video. So keep on watching to find out why that is. So first of all, I'd just like to be completely honest with my opinion that I think this is just a quick fix. So the C9 diet plan is just a quick fix, which you could do by yourself without having to spend any money. So saving that hundred pounds and putting into something else around your goal would be much more beneficial. And let me explain more about that. So first of all, as we know, and as I've explained in many videos before, weight loss, fat loss, we get weight loss and fat loss by eating less than our body needs. So being in a calorie deficit, which is the opposite to a calorie surplus, right? So being in a calorie deficit, eating less than your body needs is how we lose weight. And so the C9 diet plan is basically just a low calorie diet that when you follow it for those nine days, it's putting you in a calorie deficit, you're eating less than your body needs. And you could achieve this by eating less food, but of course they're advertising it as a simple way, follow these steps and you'll lose weight if you just take our products, right? Makes sense. It's really, really super important to understand though, that there's a lot more to weight loss than just your diet and your exercise. I've done a video on this before, I'll put it up here somewhere, somewhere around up there, <laughs> I never know where the links go, but um, just an example, emotional eating. What happens when you get these uncontrollable urges and cravings, right? Um, you need to be able to solve those things as well because otherwise you're going to be going in one direction, always be pulled back in the other direction. So you need to be able to solve the things around your problem as well. So just to quickly go over it again, what do you get in this pack from Forever Living with the C9 cleanse? So you get a shaker and you get some protein powders and we quickly looked into this. The protein they use in it is soy protein, which is a cheaper version of protein. So they're cutting costs there. And they also do ask you to add your own milk to it to increase the protein in what you're actually drinking. You also get a few supplements, so some fiber supplements to help keep you full, and also some fat burning supplements as well. And when you look into what actually fat burning supplements are, it's basically a stimulant. So using caffeine, which as you probably know, makes you more agitated and move around more. So fat burning supplements, they work by basically giving you more energy. So you move around more, so you're more energetic and you burn more calories. So when I speak to people about fat burning supplements, which can cost a lot of money, right? I usually just advise, have some coffee because coffee is cheap and it has exactly the same effect. It gives you that extra energy. That's if you're not caffeine addicted, right? Because these things aren't gonna work if you have 10 coffees a day already. So it's taking advantage of the fact that when you are not a big caffeine drinker, it can give you that extra energy and make you move around more, okay? So that's how these stimulants work to help lose weight. So these things are included, and as I said, you take them daily for the nine days. 
So something really, really important to be aware of with the results is weight loss versus fat loss, because they are very different things. Although a lot of people say weight loss, they actually want fat loss because it doesn't really matter about what the scale says, it's about what you look like, right? So you want to look smaller rather than actually having a number that says you've lost weight. So losing fat rather than weight, which could be anything from your body. So muscle, water weight, even food in your digestive system can change your weight. Whereas it's fat that makes you look smaller, okay? So it's very important to be aware of that when we talk about the next few things. So what happens when you go on a low calorie diet like the C9 cleanse? So what will happen is your body will start taking energy from itself, okay? Because you're not having so much from your food. And so the carbohydrates, which is stored in your muscles and your liver will be slowly used up. And when this is used up, it also releases water as well. So you can lose weight from the carbohydrate that's stored in your muscles and your liver, and also the water that's released at the same time when it is used up. So a lot of weight loss at the beginning is through this effect. Then you can obviously lose weight from fat because some energy is taken from your fat, but also your body can start burning lean mass, so muscle to get energy as well. And we don't want this for several reasons. So number one, part of your metabolism is made up by the metabolic effects of your muscles in your body, so the energy that they burn. Also, your muscle gives you that lean toned look. So when you wanna to look toned, so there's that beach body style, that beach body look comes from having lean toned muscle. So when you lose that, you get more of that saggy, shrunken balloon look, which obviously a lot of people then are unhappy about. And also having less muscle means you are less strong and you are able to move around less easily. So again, going into the calories burned, you're all gonna burn less, okay? So over the nine days that you do the C9 plan, your weight loss, remember, weight loss will come from these things, not just from fat. So it's not just fat loss, it won't be just size change. The number will change more than reflected in your actual results over this time. The next thing to really understand is, is this actually worth it? Is it sustainable? Why do it in the first place? So number one, remember it's costing you hundred pounds just for nine days. And number two, it's an extremely low calorie diet. So you're gonna feel tired and it's not sustainable, but also because you're gonna be eating supplements all the time. And so how does this reflect in the rest of your life? How are you gonna go out? And eat with friends, how are you going to eat anywhere other than your home with your supplements? So obviously in your mind this is going to be a very short-term thing. So the question then is what happens after this nine days, okay? Because you haven't learned anything, because you haven't learned how to eat nutritionally correctly, you've been following a step-by-step -step plan which you paid for specific supplements. So when you finish this nine-day plan, you're exactly in the same place as when you started. You've lost a bit of weight, but as soon as you start going back to how you were eating before, most of the weight comes back on, remember? I said it was from the carbohydrate in your muscles and the water weight that comes with that, and that just comes straight back once you have just reverted to your usual uh, routine. So people will give great reviews after the nine days because the scales will show a weight loss. So yeah, it does what it says on the tin. But do you really want this? Is what you really want a quick nine day quick fix with a rebound at the other end? Of course not, right? But when you see the reviews, it's people's nine day experience. What you don't know is what happens afterwards, which almost certainly, like I said, they've not learned anything. So they just go back to how they were before and put the weight back on, which if you knew that, then of course you wouldn't do it, would you? And a lot of people will say to themselves, oh, but it'll be my kickstart. And once they lose that little first bit of weight, it'll give me that motivation. Like, is, like realistically tell yourself, like, is that, is that gonna be what's gonna happen? Like life will get in the way, your motivation will go down, things will happen, emotional eating. Yeah, like I said, you haven't learned anything. So how will you, how will you do something else? Like what will you do? Like, how will you continue what you're doing? You won't half do it because half doing it won't get results. And you'd be like, oh, this is not worth it because it's low calories and I can't go out with my friends. So it's not a solution to your problem. It's just a quick fix, which makes you feel good for a few days because you're doing something about your problem. And that's great that you're doing something about your problem, but knowing or being able to look into the future and think, oh, 
is this actually solving my problem? Or is it just making me feel better for a little while, making me think that I'm taking action when in actual fact I'm wasting my time and my money? So that's why people fail, really. It's just a short-term quick fix. So what to do instead? What should you do instead? So first of all, save that £100, put it towards learning and nutrition or some coaching to help you lose the weight. And oh, I got my free food structure guide down in the, in the description below. Download that, that's for free. How to eat in a structured way without controlling your calories, without having to count calories and points and things like that. Choosing the foods you want to eat, that's down there in the description. And also being able to just be in a calorie deficit while eating real food, while being able to go out and do things with real people not being stuck with supplements and things like that. And also have some caffeine. So as I said, a lot of fat burning products have caffeine in them, which agitate you. So just having either some coffee or you can buy caffeine pills, very, very cheap, less than five pounds to give you that extra boost, which fat burners do the same thing, but cost probably like 10 times as much or more just because they have a special name on them and they have some, yeah, like special marketing around them. So guys, I get that this is appealing, like you're in a place where you wanna do something about your weight loss, and this seems like some kind of solution to it. However, it's part of the problem, spending money on these quick fixes and things to get you short-term weight loss. Like, you have a problem that needs money spending on it. Spending money here and there willy-nilly on little things is not gonna get used to your solution. You need to be able to invest in yourself in an amount not like Slimming World or Weight Watchers or the C9 plan, things like that, like 20 pounds, 100 pounds. You need to properly invest in yourself to solve your problem. Otherwise, it's gonna be there for the rest of your life. I speak to people that have had weight loss problems for 20 odd years, and they do things over and over again, short-term quick fixes, and they're just completely unhappy with themselves. Their mind is just full of um, stress around food, and they're bought into their own problem. They're unwilling to actually take the leap and invest in themselves. So that often is the biggest problem, like spending money on themselves like they would do in other areas of their life. So expensive phones, holidays, things like that, but they're just not prepared to spend money on themselves and enough money to actually solve their problem. So um, let me know guys, has this video helped you decide whether to use the C9 plan or not? Let me know down in the comments. If you're still gonna go ahead, let me know as well. Really like to know. And as always, subscribe and look out for the next video.